So in this particular problem called as plus minus, uh, a very very simple problem. Given a list of elements, you need to find out how many of these elements are positive, meaning what fraction of the elements are positive, what fraction of the elements are negative, and what fraction of the elements are zeros. Right now, you can just observe here out of five elements, there are two positive elements. Right, two out of total number of elements is five. Two out of five is zero point four. Okay, then again there are two elements which are negative. Right, so two out of five is zero point four. Right, and then there is one element which is zero. So point two. Okay, uh, fraction of the elements are zero. Right, so now the elements can be uh, anything between. Uh, minus 100 to plus 100 and the size of the array or the list of elements can be 100. Now, this is a very simple problem, especially if you're working on uh, C or C++. The main objective to uh, look out here is uh, the type conversion, right? Okay, let's try to uh, do this problem in two different ways. One in a very easy way where every time uh, you scan the element you check out if it is greater than zero or less than zero or it is equal to zero and then we'll also try to solve the same problem using count underscore if of c plus plus algorithm let's move into that so first thing uh, will be like the number of elements the number of elements will be read as n And once we read the number of elements, the next thing what we need to do it is we need to read the elements into an array. So first we'll try to create an array of n elements, right? And we'll ask the user to enter the elements, right? Now since there are n elements, I do require a for loop. And then I'll try to read with the help of CN array of I. Right. So reading task is done. So after that, to keep track of number of positives, I'll just use a variable called as uh, positive count, which is initially set to zero. The same way I also have a negative count, which will again be set to zero. Right. I'll say zero count right zero count will also be set to zero okay now after this what i'll do it is i'll try to run through uh, the loop starting from first element to the last element now every time i access the element okay i'll try to check out if this element right like array of i is it greater than zero if it is greater than zero i will try to increment the positive count right positive count variable will be incremented by one else if the element is less than zero i will increment negative count okay if it is neither positive it is neither negative i know it is zero so i'll try to increment zero count so we have basically a calculated number of positives number of negatives and number of zeros right now please do remember everything whatever we have used till now is integers now we need to count the fraction like what per, okay fraction of elements were positive what fraction of elements were negative and what fraction of element was zero so for this if you just try to write positive count divided by n this should give me the fraction but please do remember since the numerator and the denominator both are integers like for example let us say okay like example what was was given in hacker rank uh we had one one zero minus one minus one there were two positives out of five 2 divided by 5 will not give you 0 0.4, it will give you 0, right? If you want to get 0 0.4, then you have to have either the numerator as floating point value or the denominator as the floating point value. So for that, I'll try to use a typecasting out here. Since it is C++, I can use a function style typecasting, right? So this is my positives, fraction of positives. Okay, and then I can give a space, right? Or no, I think we require a new line out there. Fine, we'll just quickly see that. Do we require a new line between every output? Yes, we do require a new line. Okay, so I'll try to put a new line there. And then the same way, I'd like to print the fraction of negatives and fraction of um, 
zeros negative count and zero count okay so i can just run this program only i was trim is required i don't require algorithm or string to run this particular code write five elements i'll just write one one zero minus one and minus one i should get 0 0.4 0 0.4 and 0 0.2 yes i got the output right so if you want you can take this particular code and even submit on the hacker rank out there so i can just take this entire thing but i need to comment that see out what i'm using in line number nine line number 13 right i'll just go down here i need to select c plus plus because i've used uh, c out statements otherwise the logic is same if they use C or C++, the logic remains the same. Fine. Hmm. I'm just commenting this and then submitting it. First run with the sample test cases. And once the sample test cases are done, you can just run the uh, all the test cases out here. So the important point out here is the type casting. If you forget to do a type casting, then you will not get the correct output. You will always get zero, 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 right? Okay, this is a normal way in which you have done it. Now I'd like to do the same thing using the concept of count underscore if. So I'd like to count the positives with the help of count underscore if right i'll be passing the beginning of the array begin of array okay end of array clear remember the begin and end is c plus plus 11 construct right begin function and the end function is c plus plus 11 construct okay right now hmm. i need to uh, pass on the predicate function which will count the positives so here i can just use a lambda code out here i'll be passing a number right and then if the number is positive return number is greater than zero so what this code does is if the number is greater than zero it returns true otherwise return false right okay now this will give me uh, the count of positives and the same way this will give me the count of negatives wherein i just need to write less than here and to count zeros I don't need to use even count underscore if I can just use count count is sufficient for me right count is sufficient here the first two argument remains the same the third argument I can just pass on the zero value because I'm searching for a particular value and but there it is not a particular value it's a okay values which satisfy some kind of conditions so once if it is done I can remove this this part i can remove and the remaining part remains the same so again i'd like to run this particular code and then verify it here and then once i verify it here i try to resubmit it in hacker rank and here you do require algorithm because you're using count underscore if and we are using this begin and end function which is a c plus plus 11 construct so in hacker rank you have to select c plus plus 11 or above after 11 we do have something called as c plus plus 14 the problem what we face out here is when you use a traditional array, okay, and that too, wherein uh, you're specifying the size of an array at the runtime, like for example, int array of n, right? Then we cannot use the begin and end function. So if you want to overcome this, you can just use vector, vector of int, and then use not a square bracket, parenthesis. And since we're using a vector out here, just try to use vector, right? Done. So let us try to compile this particular code. This should work. Remember, if you had used a fixed size array, it should have worked. But if you're using a variable length array, then okay, we cannot use the begin and end function. Okay. Compilation done. Let me try to run this. So five elements: one, zero, zero, one, minus one. Or let us say I'll not keep any okay. I uh, negative value system. So I have 60% uh, or 0.6 okay, uh, fraction as positive and 0.4 fraction as zeros and negatives as 
okay zero right okay now i'd like to take this and then submit in hacker rank and i'll just comment it here only right so i'll take this particular code go down here uh, this was the previous code what we have done so i'd like to please do remember please do select c plus plus 14 right and then paste your code here and then run the sample test case and then submit it right See, we have used lambda, we have used count underscore if, okay, and as well as the count algorithm. 